Hi everyone, we're here at Minky today and I'm going to answer another one of our most frequently asked questions and it is about the texture, the difference about each of our Minkies. Um, so I've got them lined up here. First of all, we have the print and I'm going to talk about that um, in just a minute when we unroll it and show you the thickness. But this would be a print. This one is called the Sorbet. As you can see, these are all the same size, but there's a big difference in how they roll and the thickness and the plushness. So we have the Sorbet, then we have the Divinity, then we have the Premium Plush, next we have our Urban, and last we have our Hugs. So those are kind of our categories and our collections that you hear about and see on our website and in the store that you have questions about. First of all, we have our print. Um, as you can see, one side has the pattern and the other side has, we usually try and put sorbet on the back. Um, this is kind of exclusive to Minky Couture. It used to be the little swirl rosebuds, but we found that they washed. The, as you washed them, the rosebuds would um, disappear and that would look kind of ratty. So we are using sorbet mostly on the back now and people love it. On the front um, is the pile of the print and it's called the GSM, grams per square meter. We use about a 600 to 900 grams per square meter. That's why ours is a little more plush than you'll find, say, at a fabric store. Theirs usually run between three to 500 at the most. So we try to make the front pattern plush and as nice as we can with having a pattern on it. And we try to make the back as comfy and smooth and silky and cozy as possible. So this is our print adult, 50 by 60. Now we have our sorbet. Our sorbet is so versatile and it is literally on hundreds of our prints. Comes in 50, 60 colors and the sorbet is like our hidden gem. I love the sorbet because it's silky and smooth and it just, it's so easy to travel with because you can roll it up tight and it's great to have at home because it's not heavy and bunglesome, but yet it feels silky smooth and caresses you. And people look at it rolled up and they think, I don't want that one, it's too skinny. But then people that have one come back for more because it's kind of just a little hidden secret how lush and cozy and perfect that the sorbet is and comes in so many colors. Next we have our divinity. And you can tell I named all these after food. Sorbet, divinity, just love to eat. Anyway, especially desserts. But our um, divinity is, once again, plush and silky. It's been with us since the beginning of Minky Couture. And it's very um, plush. It's a little bit thicker than the sorbet. It doesn't come in as many colors. And we've had some problems, I'll be honest, with the divinity. And so people might say, I don't want the divinity. I had it and it was shedding or we had problems with it. But Minky Couture went back to the drawing board and we have a new formula for our sorbet. So they don't shed anymore at all. So don't be afraid of a divinity and it's a little bit thicker than the sorbet. So I do love the divinity also. Our next one is the Premium Plush, and the Premium Plush doesn't come in as many colors, but we've had it for probably three or four years, and we love the lines in it. It's a little bit, feels a little bit more masculine to me, but not necessarily if, if you don't want it to be. Um, but it is a little bit thicker than the Divinity, and it's plush and nice and washes really well. And I must say, can I add this for the Divinity and the Sorbet? They wash excellent. Um, and the Premium Plush wash, washes really well too. So I love the Premium Plush and it's getting heavier as we go on because it is thicker. Now we have our Urban and everyone loves the Urban. The Urban is thick and plush and it is, um, just one of our most popular and favorites. The Urban, we are starting to manufacture that in uh, many more colors. We've got some fun colors coming up in the summer and the fall and for the holiday season. So check our Urban section. I haven't had very many complaints on the Urban. They are just 
one that people adore and love. And you can see it's thick. These are all adults and it's getting heavier with each new blanket. Our last collection is another one of my favorites. I must say they're all my favorites for different reasons. And I truly, truly love something about each one that n the others do not have. Um, this is the hugs and you can see it looks like a waffle. Um, the hugs has been very popular. And when we named it, I named it the hugs because literally the very first blanket I got, I put it around me and I thought, oh, it kind of tightens up, it hugs me back. So I love the hugs and as you can see, they stretch. So the adult can stretch, I mean, literally bigger than the size that you're actually purchasing. And so everyone has loved the hugs. We are getting the hugs in new colors all the time. We're getting some animal prints, some fall colors, and we have our basic silver, cream, um, pinks, blues, grays, caramel. So I think you can tell by the hugs. It is just a real unique fabric that hugs you back, and I love that it's exclusive to Minky Couture. Um, that if you want a hug, this is where you get one. Uh, one question that we have often when people walk in is, where do I use this blanket or how do I use it or which one's the most comfortable to cuddle up with for a movie or which one looks the best on a chair or bed? So I'm gonna just do a brief description of what we have found is the you know, most used or best uses, but honestly, you can use all of them to wrap up in, all of them on a chair or a sofa or the end of a bed. Um, but I'm just going to go briefly through. So I grabbed a little themed one for a little boy or a little girl. This is our ABC Zoo, but the patterned ones are more um, for somebody that has a favorite color, a favorite flower, or they love animals. And of course, the little ones in our lives um, love the prints. Those are what they get attached to, which are fun. and. They can be used in a bedroom or a nursery, and this also is a print, but I think of someone who loves floral or, you know, they they just love pattern in their life. This is more, um, fits their personality. The next one, sorbet, as I said before, this rolls up so tightly. Um, I love to carry one in my trunk, in my little travel bag, because you never know when you're going somewhere that you're gonna sit on the grass or throw it out or you just want it on your lap in the air-conditioned car because it's so freezing, or on a plane, train, automobile. But, and the survey, honestly, it looks great over a sofa, great over a chair, great at the end of a bed, and you know it can be used anywhere. But these are some of the tit, um, advice and tips we give people because they ask so many questions. Uh, the, sor the divinity is kind of like the survey, but it is thicker, richer, so it's gonna hang a little different on a sofa or a chair. Um, you're going to wrap up in it. It's a little warmer, so because it's a little thicker. The Premium Plush, oh, these are the ones that are starting to get into, okay, I'm freezing, I just need something to wrap up in, or I, I want to cuddle, I want to read, I want to go, you know, outside, but it's still nippy, or the air conditioning's on. So Premium Plush, it's got the lines on it, so it looks great over the end of a bed also. The Urban. Urbans are just to cuddle up in, I think, and they do look great on the end of a bed or over a sofa. They're a little bit harder to travel with. It's a lot of blanket. If you took this on an airplane, you would have to take a big carry back, carry on with nothing else in it. Um, they're just so thick and plush, but when you get to your destination, they would be awesome to have um, to cuddle up with on your um, in your hotel room or wherever you're staying. Uh, the next one, uh, hugs. Honestly, this one just folds and drapes so nice. It's great because it gives you a hug whenever you need it, but it also looks awesome over the back of a sofa, the back of a, a wingback chair, or the end of a bed. And any size will work at the end of a bed. Some people want them over the edge. Some people just want them across the, the end. So it depends. You have a twin bed, queen, king, California king, um, and then a crib size is great with the smaller sizes like a tween. A travel might be a little bit too long, but then an infant looks so cute in a crib too. So anyway, those are the uses of all our blankets and you can actually use them for whatever you want to, but if you have questions, maybe that gave you a few answers. Thanks.